From the I-Team tonight, new insight into a mysterious company that's purchased nearly $1 billion worth of land in Solano County near Travis Air Force Base. Doesn't make sense. That just really doesn't. So they're not farmers. So whatever they are, I know what they aren't. Federal officials say they're highly skeptical of the buyer's lack of transparency. I-Team reporter Stephanie Sierra is here with the latest on a very strange case. Steph? Yes, Jan, the group Flannery Associates LLC has acquired tens of thousands of acres of dry farmland equivalent to nearly double the size of San Francisco, and no one knows why, not even the federal government. And tonight, we're learning the company's alleged silence is exposing the need for the law to change. That's what makes it scary, I guess, is that we, don't, we know nothing about them, nothing about their intentions. A mysterious $800 million purchase of dry farmland near Travis Air Force Base, one of the most critical military bases in the western U.S., has raised serious questions. And local officials say the process has gone from suspicious to intimidating. Their intention isn't to, to grow olive trees. You know, it, it feels nefarious. To need all of the land to the point where you're, you know, going to sue someone to intimidate them to sell to you, uh, those aren't farmers. Sarah Donnelly is a city council member for Rio Vista, a town that's surrounded by land acquired by Flannery Associates LLC. Federal officials told the I-Team they're struggling to identify who's behind this investment group that's purchased 55,000 acres near the base, and more importantly, what it will be used for. It seems like, you know, there's something larger in the works. The problem is no one knows, and that alone has raised a bigger question. Why are we in this situation in the first place? We brought this to the chair of the House Armed Services Committee, Congressman Adam Smith. Don't you think principal owners who are purchasing land near military bases or national security sites should be required to identify themselves? Yes, absolutely. No, I think we ought to get greater transparency on that. The I-Team confirmed over the past six years of these land acquisitions, there was no clear reporting structures from sensitive bases to federal agencies responsible for investigating these types of situations. Congressman John Garamendi is working to change that, adding new language in the National Defense Authorization Act, or NDAA, that would streamline communication so the proper authorities can review these cases. If you're not a nefarious operation, why are you keeping it secret? Last year, 300 acres of farmland was purchased near an Air Force base in North Dakota. Garamendi calls it a spy base. A company in China was acquiring land around that base and wanting to build a 400-foot silo that could look directly into the base. And we go, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, what's going on there? Flannery Associates told the I-Team no foreign person or group holds any significant or substantial control over Flannery. Congressman Smith says that's charmingly nonspecific. If it's determined that the purchase of this land is in any way connected to a foreign adversary, what do you think should happen next? It's an excellent question. I think we need to look at options and evaluate the threat, and it's going to depend. I mean, look, we have foreign direct investment in this country. Uh, from a wide variety of different countries. I think we need to get the information and evaluate what the best steps forward are to protect national security, while also recognizing that, you know, we're, we're going to be do, doing business with China. We're not going to cut it all off. We just need to be cautious about how we do it. Now, Congressman Smith added he's unaware of any evidence released so far that ties the Flannery Group to China, but he made it clear we don't have the transparency in place yet to completely rule that out. But it is a mystery. Something's going on. It's yeah. interesting. We'll certainly stay on. Yeah, thanks, Stephanie, very much.